I was kind of staying away from documentaries so much on this channel. Uh, but Sons of Sam is created by Joshua Zeman, who me and my brother are both fans of. And I wanted to do something of his. Uh, specifically because he, his former documentaries, uh, The Killing Season, has a lot to do with the Long Island serial killer, which is a case that me and my brother have both uh, been interested in and have discussed on this channel before several times of our own theories. I'm sure we will again, is. too. I'm sure we will again. Um, and then also Cropsy, which was one, another great... Uh, documentary that he made. Josh and Siemens a really cool dude. I've interacted with him a few yes. times and, and gotten a chance to speak to him. He's like a real deal dude. So when actually when he announced that this documentary was coming out um, and all the amazing accolades that it got, I honestly could not be happier for him because he's such a real dude yeah. and he's not some, some hoity-toity Hollywood type. He's a real uh, director, a real journalist right i would consider him and he's just uh, an amazing investigator and so all the success to josh zeman with with yes. this have ha, him having this giant show i can't tell you how like happy it just makes me personally it, it was happy as soon as you told me joshua zeman was going to do something on the son of sam one well i was excited to just see something from josh Z josh uh zeman again but Absolutely. also because he always approaches topics from like a conspiracy theorist lens, almost. Yeah, you could say that. I, you could. You certainly could say that. You certainly could say that. So that's why I was interested. Of I knew right away this wasn't going to be a straightforward documentary about David Berkowitz. Correct. That that's not something Joshua Zeman would do, and it's right because. While obviously the Son of Sam killings is a big part of this documentary, it's more about afterwards the story of journalist Maury Terry. Yeah, absolutely. Who uh, it fo it follows his story and kind of how he got wrapped up in this. I'm sinking in my seat. In this kind of. I think that happened to me once here. Conspiracy theory that not a lot of the a lot of the evidence doesn't pan out, and Joshua Zeman kind a lot of, of it approaches does, though. that. A lot of some of it does, um, but it's it's more about the fact that there was this journalist Maury Terry who kind of was more interested in being right than having the truth. Yeah, yes, yes. He, 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 he was more interested in being right and the fact that you see him spiral to the end that even if someone disagrees with him a little bit, he's going to cut them off. Yeah, he um, definitely has his blinders on. He definitely has a theory. I, I can't even say that he is like super off base, at least in the beginning. Um, well, well, that was kind of what, that was kind of what my problem was. And I said this in my breakdown of just like, in the beginning, the original theory that he has, that yeah. David Berkowitz did not act alone. Which David Berkowitz co corroborates. Which David Berkowitz corroborate, uh, uh, corroborates. Now you could say, oh, well, he's a killer, so he's a liar. It, What's his motivation, a liar? Yeah, well. He, he's, he's not getting out of jail because of it. He, well, I could get into that, but. The original theory that David Berkowitz had accomplices, that he didn't do all the... There's evidence that can support this. Absolutely. If you had a different journalist, we might be talking about of just like, we looked into this evidence and it turned out that there's more evidence that counteracts everything and it turns out David Berkowitz did act alone. If you had a, a journalist that was willing to that was less interested in being right and more interested in the facts maury terry then connects it to kind of a national satanic cult correct that i don't agree with i don't i don't i well it's not whether you agree or not it's whether the it's whether there's evidence for it or I not. Don't, I don't you know? see, and I'm more conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theory-minded than most people. 
I'm watching the documentary. First of all, I love the documentary because it it kind of shows this journalist getting wrapped up in his head. Yeah. But in the theory itself, I don't think it holds water. Well, the problem is there's no defined theory. The, what's the theory that, like, the you know, it, it just... The theory keeps the, unraveling. Yeah, exactly. The, the ultimate the, evil theory of that there exactly. is this na- that there is this national satanic cult, uh, like a satanic mafia, basically Syndi- that's responsible syndicate. for all these different murders. Yeah. See, uh, right? But there there are some things that are really interesting, like all the stuff that was happening in the park in Yonkers with the animal sacrifices. There's that seems to be corroborated by a few different people. There's the witness accounts that you know give descriptions that fit other people that aren't david berkowitz there's the whole thing about the 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 snuff film which doesn't seem out of the realm of possibility right um so i mean i think that more first of all maury terry um he's not a not a good journalist no um he maybe started out as a good journalist and just started buying his own line of you know what what this was going to be and then he was just obviously a very stubborn person yeah and, but, but that was and my his thing ego of got he, in the way. he took different he he took different things from across the uh, different horrible events that may have not had anything to do with one of uh, with with each other right you know and that's kind of where I think it goes off the rails because one, he was definitely leading into the satanic panic that was going on in the eighties. Yeah, and then they took advantage of him yes. and made him a buffoon. In the, yes, yeah. But the these theories, his kind of ultimate evil book and his theories, definitely wouldn't have been as popular if it wasn't for the fact that the satanic panic was going on at the same time. Well, let's just, first of all, jumping ahead a little bit, the, um, the, the college student who... He not, was the, right about. Yes. Well, what do you mean he was right about? Well, he said that the security guard was the one who killed her. Right. And it turns out he was right about that. Correct. Yes. And what book did he have in his residence when they found him? I don't know. What book did this is the have? end of the documentary. Was the, it? The sec- they go to arrest the security guard in modern oh, and day. He has, well, and he has ultimate, ultimate evil. evil. Yeah, right. I don't know. That's so. I mean, that either that's a complete coincidence or it's you know it's well, a little. I'm not saying that's hard evidence. Yeah, but no. The point I know, is, but that but that's my thing of like, look, it's certainly I, weird. I'm I'm more conspiracy theory minded than most people. Yeah, you um, are. <laughs> you know, we did we did do an entire episode where I basically connected Charles Manson to the CIA. Like, but my thing is, we know the CIA is a real group. This national uh, Satanist. Well, the process was confirmed to be a real group. The the process church is a real group, but something that I think it's only mentioned briefly mentioned in the documentary that the process church are not Satanists. They're an offshoot of Scientology. Don't they predate Scientology? No. Scientology is from the 1800s. No, it's not. Yeah, L. Ron this... Hubbard's born in... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm what are you talking about? More... They... Yeah, no. Um, uh, no, the Process Church was an offshoot of Scientology. 